Oh, Jesus, this place is packed. We had a run in the mass murder section. So you coming tonight? Yeah, I'm off early. Curfew, you know. Now that's poor taste. What? If you were the only suspect in a senseless bloodbath, why would you be standing in the horror section? It was all a misunderstanding. He didn't do anything. He's such a little lapdog. He's got killer printed all over his forehead. Then why did the police let him go? Because obviously they don't watch enough movies. This is standard horror movie stuff. Prom Night Revisited? <laughs> Why would he want to kill his own girlfriend? There's always some stupid bullshit reason to kill your girlfriend. That's the beauty of it all. Simplicity. Besides, if it's too complicated, you lose your target audience. So what's his reason? Maybe Sydney wouldn't have sex with him. She's saving herself, you know. Could be. Now that Billy's tried to mutilate her, you think Sid would go out with me? I think her father did it. How come... They can't find his ass. Because he's probably dead. His body will come popping out in the last reel somewhere. Eyes gouged out. See, the police are always off track with this shit. If they'd watch prom night, they'd save time. There's a formula to it. A very simple one. Everyone's a suspect! The father, the principal, the town derelict. Which is you. So while they're off investigating a dead end, Billy, who's been written off as a suspect, is busy planning his next hunting expedition. How do we know you're not the killer? Oh. Hi, Billy. Maybe your movie Freaked Mind lost its reality button. You're absolutely right. I'm the first to admit it. If this were a scary movie, I'd be the prime suspect. And what would be your motive? It's 1995. Motives are incidental. You're telling me that's not a killer? Yeah. 